say Happy Easter, everybody. Are you playing? You can keep playing. You can keep playing. Are you having fun? Yes. You're so cute. Your cheeks are getting so chubby. I love it. But anyway, good morning. No, you can keep playing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bothering you. Continue. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. And normally we don't vlog on weekends. But, I don't know. But Easter is tomorrow. So, probably won't vlog tomorrow. Except for maybe, like, a video of her in her cute little outfit. But, last night, well, here. Yesterday at like four, around four-ish, I mixed up some bananas and they were a little runny, so I mixed some rice cereal in with them, which I've been told is completely fine. And I gave them to Annabelle and she absolutely loved them. And then we took a bath at like 7.30 maybe. And after, she was acting kind of funny in the bath. And we were sitting in there for a while, but it definitely like wasn't too warm. I was getting a little bit, not cold, but just like uncomfortable. Just because it's not as hot as I was no would normally like. But obviously for a baby, they don't want it that hot. But, um... She started acting kind of funny and just like squirming a little bit and then she was like coughing like she was choking on something. So I stood her up and she threw up everywhere. Like a lot. Like m probably more than I gave her in bananas. <laughs> so I was kind of freaking out and I picked her up and it kind of just looked like she was going to pass out. Which is probably just because she was like, what the heck just happened? And then everything in her stomach was just gone. So I was trying to wake her up a little bit. I took a cold washcloth and put it on her tummy and one on her head. Just because I didn't know if being warm was making her feel gross or whatever. So I did that and I feel like that actually did help because she started to like she was pretty pale for a little bit and that might have just been because of the bath in general like because her cheeks turn pink when she gets a little bit cold and it's always kind of cold in here so her cheeks are always like a little bit more pink than if she's like i mean hot i guess but um so i brought her in here because I was just freaking out. I had no idea what was happening. I'm like, okay, Annabelle, you just have to stay awake. You're scaring the crap out of me. And you don't like this story? Yeah, well, I have to tell it anyway. But, um, so I put the cold washcloth on her head and another one on her stomach. And she started to look a little bit happier, a little bit better. Um, I was trying to feed her, but she was just kind of out of it for a little bit. So I didn't end up feeding her right away. And then... I brought her downstairs and she threw up a ton again and it was still banana like there well there was still banana in it I don't think it was all banana there's no way it was all banana but oh my gosh I was kind of freaking out I'm like oh my gosh like what did I do but obviously like doctors tell you to try new foods and then wait and if they don't work they don't work if they do work they're fine but I'm like, okay, what did I do? I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I shouldn't have given you bananas. But like, how do you know that they're not going to sit well in her stomach? So I just, I felt so bad. But we're not going to try bananas again, at least for a little while. And if we do it again, it probably won't be very much at all. Just so she can see if they're actually okay because I know sometimes things are just like a one-time thing that it makes them sick and it might just be like the single fruit itself not the actual like type of fruit 
but oh my gosh it scared the crap out of me but like she started looking quite a bit better after she threw up the second time and so I fed her and she fell asleep while I was feeding her which is pretty typical honestly and she slept for a while but I stayed up just to make sure that she was fine that she didn't start coughing and choking on anything like I didn't know if she was going to throw up again and I had read a little bit about it and a lot of people said that once they fed them they threw up again like breast milk they threw up again and that it might just be something that didn't sit well in their stomach so if they had something in their stomach at all they just throw it up but it ended up being okay she slept pretty well um I was freaking out because my mom is not here and normally she would kind of know what to do better than I do. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. But I think she's feeling a lot better today. Are you spitting up? Oh my goodness. What are we going to do with you? Oh my gosh. Where's your burp break? Baby, is that cute, baby? Are you a cute, baby? Was that drool or spit up? I don't even know anymore. Ugh. Can you sit up? Say hello, vlog. Nice to see you, vlog. <coughs> uh, knocked over. She can kind of sit up, but it's only when her hands are like on the floor and she's leaning quite a bit farther forward than you normally would but i mean it's it's something it's a start she's getting her balance down at least she's starting to yeah yes okay boom Hello. You're upside down. You're no longer upside down. Mm -hmm. What? Why? Well, this is your blankie. That's for playing. This is not for playing. Because it's hard on your noggin. Happy Easter Sunday, everybody. Look at this girl. You have the cutest little dress. Yes. I know you're too cute. I don't even know what to do with you. She's kind of cranky right now because it's definitely nap time. But let's see you. Can we see you? Look at that. Look at how cute you are. No. Is it time to go down for a nap? Nap time? Oh, you just want to vlog? You don't want me to do it. Okay, hold it nice. Hold it nice. No, don't. Uh. <laughs> anyway, happy Easter, everybody. Um, I probably won't be vlogging much today, but I just wanted to say that. And, yeah. I hope you have a great day. Annabelle. Hi. Is it Easter? Say happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Do you know what Easter is? No. Okay. We'll talk about that.